What's up guys, Spear here from SpearCollock.com. In today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to install WordPress in cPanel manually, what we would say is an old way, old school. Now, before we go into it, I just wanna let you know that here at my channel, I talk about how to make money online, how to quit your nine to five and earn your freedom. So if you're into it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And now without further ado, let's get down to business. All right guys, we are now inside my computer and over at WP Society. And as you can see, I already logged in into my hosting. Now, wpsociety.com, this is a domain. Namecheap is my current hosting. If you don't have a domain and a hosting, I strongly recommend you to go with the name hero at the moment. They are the best in the market. So if you type spirokovac.com forward slash name hero, it's gonna take you to name hero website. It is my affiliate link and I'll get a tiny commission, but you're gonna be able to you know, get a discount and purchase one of these uh, hosting plans for yourself and obviously domain with it. If you go back, you see here at wpsociety.com, you can see I had an old website, which used to be live at wpsociety.com. I moved it into the old website folder because I want to save some of the content, but I'm actually doing full revamp of this old website, which wasn't bad, but I, just wanna do something more professional. Actually wanna be more active at this project. First thing that we wanna do is we wanna go to wordpress.org and we wanna download this WordPress, latest version of the WordPress. So click over here to get WordPress. And then it should start automatically. If it doesn't start automatically, just click here, download and here we go. And I'm just gonna close this one. And let's go into the cPanel. Now find where it says file manager, it's right there. Before we actually click on a file manager, I just wanna show you a few more other things. So we got file manager and MySQL databases. These are the two main things that we're gonna use today. So let's go into the file manager. And inside the file manager, you will see that there are some folders. Most of these things are hosting related folders that you don't touch. And normally if it's your only domain on the website, you'd go into the public HTML into this area, but since this is a subdomain in my case, I'm gonna go into wpsociety.com. Here I can see uh, those three folders that we've seen old website, SVG files and WP content. Now we wanna click on upload and then we wanna select, or actually we can drag and drop the file here. It's probably easier. All right, it's now uploading. Once upload is done, just close this window, click here to reload. Okay, it's not showing yet. Now click right click on this WordPress zip file and then extract and extract files. Once extracted, it's gonna create a new folder inside your domain, which will be called WordPress. I usually like to delete these files uh, that I don't use. So WordPress zip file, I'm gonna delete it now. And then also I wanna go into this WordPress folder. I wanna select all files here and I wanna move them into the root domain. Normally, if you have only one domain, it would be public underscore HTML. But in my case, you can see it's a wpsociety.com. So I'm gonna just uh, remove the WordPress and then I'm gonna click move files. And then if you go up one level, you'll see that these files are now live here in the WP Society itself. Now, if we go over here, delete this uh, folder. Uh, before deleting, just check if you moved all the files and they all moved. So just click here and delete file and delete. Now, uh, let's just quickly refresh this page. It should not work because um, it should offer us WordPress setup configuration. That's exactly what we were hoping to see. Now, before we go into editing of WP config sample file, we actually wanna go into the main C panel panel. And here we wanna actually go into the my SQL databases where we can create a new database. And this one will be co called WP new, WPS new. And now you wanna maybe copy this and just write it down somewhere. I'm just gonna quickly open a notepad and just put it down in notepad. And then I'm gonna go back. Now you wanna create a new user. Okay, same username. And then type your password. Make sure it's a strong password and click create user. And now once user is created, just copy paste the username again into that same notepad. And then click go back 
And now very important step that a lot of people would miss is basically you need to give an authority to the user of what that user can do. So this is the username and this is user, we will give that user authority over this domain and then click add and then just give him a full authority. So just click here and then make changes. Once you've done with these changes, you're pretty much done with the main cPanel settings. Now you want to go back into the file manager and then you want to see this WP config sample file. You want to click right click on it, rename and you want to remove this sample and you want to make it just WP config. And now you want to click right click on a WP config and then you want to click edit and then you want to click edit one more time. And once inside this um, WP edit, you can basically edit and enter your entries. Now over here, you can see define database name. So database name here. Uh, I made sure that we have a same database name over here and same username. So basically database name here, database username here, and then password that you've set earlier. Once that's done, click save and then close. And now if you go to WP Society, continue. And basically you just need to put a site title, username, password, and your email. So site title in my case, uh, obviously my old title was WP Society and then username you can choose, but I'll put admin. And then here type your password. and type your email. If you don't want your site to be visible in search engines, you can discourage search en engines from uh, indexing your website. You know, just don't do it. Okay, I'll now install it. And it should take a couple of seconds and we'll be inside our admin panel. Now actually we need to log in first and then up. Here we go. Uh, we've successfully installed uh, WordPress on our fresh domain and we are ready to get started. Now, before we call it a day, I just want to highlight one thing, one problem that uh, no one is addressing actually. A lot of people is getting hacked due to reason that they have old and unused teams sitting on their website. Code gets updated and they never update team. In my case, I'm using a Divi, so I'll activate my Divi. And then once Divi team is activated, I'm going to delete all the other teams other than my child team. So to delete the team, just click over here and then go to delete. And same thing with all the other teams and make sure you don't have any teams that you're not using and that you're not updating live on your website. All right, guys, that's all for today. I hope this was useful to you and that, you know, you learned something today. And if you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you again. Cheers. <laughs>